the common view at the time was that if you take plants that have two different characters, what you will get in the hybrid is sort of a blended average of the two characteristics. So if you had a tall plant and a short plant, you'd get an intermediate sized plant. That is not what Mendel observed. He observed instead that all of the plants in the hybrid cross were actually tall. And that told him something very important, which is that the tall character prevailed and the short character, wherever that came from, had disappeared completely. And so the question that Mendel might have asked at that point is whether the character that determines shortness in a plant had completely disappeared. So he did the next really critical experiment, which is he allowed those tall plants to self-fertilize themselves. And he asked, what do the seeds look like from the progeny of that cross? And the answer was three of the progeny are tall and one of the progeny is short. So in that original tall plant in the, in the first generation, the short character had not been destroyed. It had not completely disappeared into the ozone. It had been dominated by the character tall. And in fact, Mendel used that word. He said tall is dominant over short. And the word he used to describe short is recessive. And what's really remarkable is to this day we use these terms to describe the behavior of genes in crosses, which is amazing to me.